we are writing another program on this list finding subsets of a given list. So, here is the problem description for you find all possible subsets of a given set. So, here one set or list will be given to you and you are supposed to find out all possible subsets of the list. We shall have to define a relation subset which will have two arguments set and subset. Here set and subset are two lists representing two sets. We would like to be able to use this relation not only to check for the subset relation, but also to generate all possible subsets of a given set. That means, we can also use this predicate to check whether a list is having that subset or not or a subset is a subset of a list or not. So, for that purpose also we can use otherwise we can generate all possible subsets of a given set. For example, subset A, B, C. So, we are having, we are having one list with three items A, B and C and S will be all possible subsets of this given list. So, it will have 8 different combinations we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 other 2 combinations will be always there. So, that is why I put dot 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 here. So, 8 different combinations why 8 different combinations we know that whenever we are having n number of elements in a list then it can have to do the part of n number of combinations. Thus, all possible 8 combinations will form after execution of this query or goal. So, this is the problem we have discussed the problem we have discussed the requirement, we have discussed the problem statement, we have discussed the respective predicate and the requ required arguments for it. Try to write the code yourself in prologue. So, take your time, do write the code for this subset problem and demonstration is always there for your better understanding and to give you the idea how to write the code, how to execute and how outputs are supposed to come. In this program, we shall find out all possible subsets of a given set. That means all possible sublists from a given list. So, in this case, we are having these clauses are there, program code is in front of you. So, if the list is null or void or empty list, then the subset will be also empty. So, subset first rest. So, here we are keeping retaining the first element and then this is our sub and then subset rest sub. So, we will be, we'll be going for subset rest sub means this tail part will produce the required subset and that will be there as a tail and first element will be retained. So, now let me write another clause of this subset where the first element will not be retained. So, subset first rest it will produce sub whereas rest uh, subset will be the sub itself. That means, here we shall delete the first element and the tail part will produce the sub list in all possible combinations. So, let us go for one example. So, here the listing of the code is there in front of you and this is our respective query. So, subset a, b, c, comma x. So, x will produce all possible subsets of this respective set. So, you know that as we are having only 3 elements in this set, so we will be having 8 different possible subsets are there. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So, they are like this. So, a, b, c itself is a subset of this a, b, c and then a, b, a C B C. So, with two elements we are having three subsets and then only A, only B, only C. So, with one element, element there will be three subsets and there is a empty set which will be the subset of this set. In this way, we are going to get our output accordingly. So, let us put four elements. In that case, we shall be having 2 to the power of 4 that is 16 different combinations are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, 16 different subsets have been obtained. So, thus the code has been tested thoroughly. Thanks for watching this video.